All right, we have cubed up cereal number five. Yes, yeah, so we'll, 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 I wonder how Cap got. We all know how Cap got out of it. He just, he just jumped out before the friggin' building blew up. <laughs> yes. That was quite an explosion, though. I will say. I will say. I was. I was. It, it, it looked a little, slightly less like a model than I was expecting. I was, they put some effort into it. Not a lot. Yeah, but not a lot wasn't more. the goal for him to blow up like the main house? Because it looked like he hit a three-car garage. Yes, I I, th- I think it was supposed to hit the house, but Cap was able to sort of steer it just enough so it just hit the garage and not that. Now, with that big of an explosion, I mean, realistically, it would probably set the house on fire, and the guy would probably be in trouble anyway. But I mean, at least there'd be slight. A slight chance of him escaping? I don't know. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, things getting on fire so far surrounding Leslie Peanut Butter, whatever his name is. Rich Creamy Center. I can't I can't keep Glenn Gary Glenn Ross's name in my head. It's it's just gone the second I learn it. Well, let's let let's let let's let's see how the let, let's see let's 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 see how the uh, the blade of wrath uh uh Cuts. I'm going to bet that there's no blades and there's almost no wrath. It's probably like a a, a slightly belligerent uh, weed whacker. The hockey puck of discontent. Ready for the bludgeon of irritability. Why Republic Pictures presents Captain America. Filthy lies. Oh, yes. With Dick Purcell. That's not Captain America. Grant Gardner, that's what his name is. And it's gone again. As soon as it's off the screen, it's just... Dr. Malicious Odor. Yeah, you guys think Dr. Maldor is a bad guy? No. I know we've probably made this joke repeatedly, but I can't help... They, they are not subtle at this. They really aren't. Just like America, it's not very subtle. Thank you, Elmer. Chapter 5, The Blade of Wrath. The Blade of Wrath. Cons, hot dogs. Captain America learns of the Scarab's plot to murder Professor Dot by crashing a robot truck loaded with explosives into his home. Oh, oh, great! We get, we get, we get to see part of the chase and him get jumping on this thing. I mean, they can't waste this trick, can they? Oh, yes, they can. Is half the budget of this series was just done on this shot. Quick, we need to find an overpass. Scrape him off. You know, he, he'd have more like sensitivity if he had like a controller instead of like a steering wheel there. Same. He's making it harder than it has to be. Why does the remote control truck even have a steering wheel? It's true, it doesn't really need one. They could just remove it. It's for those times when they need to drive it and they don't have a second car to drive behind it with a camera in it, so that that car can tell the people who are in a third location where the remote control truck is for when they're driving it. Keep up, man. Oh, 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 o
damn it, Phil. Drummond Museum. Just a moment, please. This is Dodge. Oh, yeah, fine. Watch! Hello, Dodge. I have just decided to go to South America with the Fletcher expedition. Good, fine, get out. We're leaving tomorrow on the Hermosa. I can't oh, the stand Bermosa? being under the constant threat of death from the scarab. Yes, I know. I, I'd, I'd, I'd rather have died of malaria and deep in the jungle. Is there anything I can do? Yes, my ship sails at four in the afternoon. Could you bring me the main crown jewels in time for me to turn them over to my dealer? <laughs> Certainly, I'll be a good time. I don't think you should be right. giving, else. No, using jewels to pay off your dealer, okay? Well, basically, these guys He's looted, a, looted a temple, I leave and, and an now we're going to sell it to, Fire. I don't know, who's I'll see you tomorrow. They've got buyers? It belongs in a museum! <laughs> you should Maybe be not his. Matson? <clears throat> This is an assignment for Agent M32. Ooh. Have him make a reservation on the Hermosa. M32. M32. Room house. I have no idea what that is. God, cars were big bags. Look at that thing. It's huge. Come in, it's just doctor. all engine. Thank you. Sneaking into everything. Here is a list of the jewels. And Don't why do they keep sneaking into everything? At any point, you can oh. show up. I'm the DA. Here's Beautiful. a bunch of cops. Okay. Get it done. <laughs> women love and men die for. True enough. Would you sign this receipt, please? Yeah, that's so inconspicuous. And now, do you want to eat this totally not poison apple that I brought you? I'm sure it will. Perhaps by the time you return, the district attorney will have caught the scallop. I'll keep trying. Hello? Have them drive in. I'll check their credentials at the house. It's the expressman for your baggage. Well, bon voyage. Thank you, Doctor. They said they couldn't handle your emotional package, though. I'm sure nothing will ever happen to me. I'm just going to put this in my bag and go to South America. Oh! Ooh. Is that truck also remote controlled? No, but the guys are. <laughs> Does he have to leave his freaking token every time? Yeah. <sighs> All right, man. The package is in the hall. It's like a waste of money. Boy. Hey, if you got a bit, you got to stick with it. I suppose so. I mean, I would have picked a cheaper one, though. You can never skim on quality. They ship him to South America, and he accidentally gets lost in luggage, and he starves. That's a great plan. Terrible DA. Let's really just uh, rearrange his spine here, make sure that if he's not dead, he is now. Hello? Sergeant? Professor Dodge has been murdered. Murdered? Pull that baggage truck till we check out. Too late. It pulled out and headed north. Have your men search every inch of the house and grounds. I'm going after that truck. Or you could call ahead to search the ground. Police to catch the truck. I mean, you have other police. You could. <sighs> 
It's like, what are, there, what are there only three of you in the entire county? <laughs> now he's just being a jerk. Oh yeah, just a couple of bungee cords. I'll keep it from flying out the back. How'd that trunk get open? I don't know. It was closed when we put Mr. Dodge's baggage in. Dodge has been murdered. And the man who did it hid in that trunk and then got out somewhere along this road. Who shipped it? Really? There you are. John Taylor. 721 West Avenue. But he checked out and was just leaving when we made the pickup. Naturally, he would. You finish your route, then bring that trunk to my office. It'll be checked for fingerprints. Really? You wouldn't just, like, take them and the rest of the trunks and... Did they have any luck, Chief? Yes. He doesn't have any other the police, police to come and take the, the truck or anything. He's got to do it himself. He's got to take his car police. back to the office and then they hitch a ride back out here again. Hello? It's an all-day oh, job. No, I want to drag that thrown out for Lefty Harper. Elias John da, 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 was found dead in his da, 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 car da, da, half an hour ago. Shot through da, da, the head. Da, da, da. Where's the body? At the morgue. The car is downstairs back at police headquarters. We looked it over. At the morgue? Jesus, how do you feel okay? slip our pony. But we did find a service station sticker which might be a lead. Good. What's the address? Allen's gas station. Fifth and Manchester. Gail can take that for us. I'll meet you at the mall. Helen, I knew it. Yeah, I serviced that car and delivered it around the corner to the fiber box company. Thank you, I'll go there. Well, that was brief. Oh, okay. Taylor worked <laughs> there right a week or two and then quit. Okay. That's all I can tell you. I see. May I use your telephone? Sure. Hal in the background there, like an early version. The Hal, the Hal, the Hal 2000. Hello? Yes, Gail. Where are you? Hi, Gail. Fiber box company. Mm -hmm. Taylor was a transit worker here, but he left. They don't know anything more about him. That's what they say. We're dealing with clever criminals. Now, are you? <laughs> Let me jot that address down. Writing. I'll go right over. Ooh. Thank you. Well, mm -hmm. Miss Richards. Lewis. What's she doing here? Snooping. She was asking Bob Taylor. I told her we didn't know anything. This is the girl who works with Captain America. You, you, you know, they should have just let her go. I mean, she's going to tell us who Captain America really is. Aren't you, Miss Richard? How the hell did you know if she'd even know? No. You can change your mind. I mean, even if she won't tell you, you could still kill her and take one of his works. resources away. I mean, true, true. Never ever thinks of just the simple solutions for some of these things. Destroy his network and destroy the man. Oh, See, this oh. is why I'm, this is why I'm not a supervillain. We have a blade. Ooh. We have a little bit of rest. I'll give him that. Do we though? Wow, you could you could cut off so many bourgeoisie heads. <laughs> mm. Ooh. Works just like a guillotine. No. Ready to talk? No. She'll change her mind when that blade starts down towards her neck. Tie her up. See, why even aim for the neck? Just stick her leg in it so she'll oh, survive. Yeah. Yeah. See, this is why I'm not a supervillain. My God, it's the oh! Thank God, it's not the clutching hand. I just, I was getting a flashback it's there. For a just... moment. I'm 
pretty sure she could just roll out of the way. I mean, you didn't tie her up that securely there. No <laughs> physics. No. no. He's got more nerve than I figured. I better phone the boss and put it up to him. Uh, what? No autonomy whatsoever. Just... Lewis, who used this phone last? The girl. She left the connection open so they could hear us. We've got to get her away fast. Well, then, then it's the job. And just get America. A wasted space in this thing. <laughs> you need a lot of fighting space. Yeah. Oh no, all those empty boxes! I think the guy that has to clean all this up. Yeah. Hell, do something! I'm afraid I can't do that. I can't do anything. It's the box. I can watch. So my theory is that the scientist that made him infused him with super syrup instead of super serum. You know, they just gave him some good old maple syrup right that through explains, his veins. That explains the gut. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Explains a lot of things, really. The first blade lifts. The second one cuts. <laughs> this guillotine goes all the way to 18. Mm. Vault of Vengeance. Ooh. Maybe she does die. Vengeance. Like, uh, how, why do I get the feeling that it's more like a pole vault? Hmm. The pole vault of vengeance. Oh boy, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet she just rolled out of the way because they really didn't tire. They didn't tire down that well. Mm. And again, yeah, you were right. They should start. They should have started with the feet. That's <laughs> how you yes. start. Yeah. See, that's how that works. Nobody it's can... like th It's like they've never done anything like this before. Like they are like completely green. <laughs> yeah. They they have no practical work experience. Um, the moment that something happens off, like, you know, that's, like, not in the manual, they, like, immediately call the boss. Like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> that reminds me of, remember the old, uh, the, the, the Sega, like, team cartoon? The Hubert and everything? Oh. Or, um, the Tomato and Conan and Bigfoot. <laughs> and the bad guy in that was, like, the big boss from Narc or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Reminds me of them because he had an episode where like somebody was coming along as another bad guy and was trying to like give the kids drugs, and all of a sudden this big like mobster dude goes, "Hey, I might be a bad guy, but even I wouldn't keep getting drugs." Like, that's what these guys are. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're 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 like we're like they're they're bad guys, but they won't go too far because uh, yeah. they're civilized bad guys. They will blow up buildings, though, and trash and, the entire downtown area, but with and, a sonic gun vibrator, and, but... And burn your friend, burn their friends to death occasionally. <laughs> trying to get the bad... If they're trying to get the, the good guy, it's like, they're, willi they're willing to sacrifice their own <laughs> when necessary. But, uh, yeah. Well, th they're on their team, so that's their job. They can take out their own people, but they can't hurt anybody else. That's, yeah. that's only fair, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. Hello there, friends. It's your old pal, Bobby Roker. And if you like this video, please give it a like. And if you'd like more of that, then subscribe to our channel. And if you didn't, well, I don't know what to tell you. But we do have more videos over here if you want to see more of what we've already got up. 
Well, that's it. Help me.